Hello, Hello Floss Tube. We're, We're the, the Real House Heads of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. This is Piper. And Ron. Snorting with her little reindeer shirt on. Ron, he's not having it today. <laughs> so over it. Good morning. So we hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. We're here to talk to you about our... We're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. And here we go again. I'm going to try to click this on. Did you see, see it? Did you see it? Anyway, it lit the tree and it lit this and part of the village over here. Okay, so. go slowly and tell them what it is. All right, so you get three of these in a package from, no, you don't, you get. Yeah, one you remote get, and three plugs. Right, one remote, three plugs, and you plug the plug into the outlet and then you plug your Christmas lights in it and then you use this to turn it on and off. She got hers at Walmart. It's in the Christmas section back by the plugs. Right, and there's three of them in the package. I think they were $16 or $11. Plus they have them, the The one I got first was for outside and I use that for Halloween because sometimes I'm afraid to open the front door and shut the lights off when I get up. And <laughs> Just because. <laughs> anyway, not that I live in a bad place or anything, but I'm just a chicken. So you can turn it off from inside your house with this clicker. The outside one comes with one plug, one clicker. Okay. That was one of the questions. So, so I have two packages of those and it does most of my stuff. I have to turn off two switches now instead of everything. Everything. No, three switches. I have. We understand this is not a new concept. The it's big tree, right. New but I have finally <laughs> come into the 2000s. <laughs> Maybe 90s, <laughs> we're not sure. Uh, happy Thanksgiving belated. Mm -hmm. We hope you had a good time resting and eating. Yes. And we had lots of questions, or I did, on what we ate. So. Yeah. We had turkey. How big was the turkey? Well, first of pounds? all, th there was a charcuterie board mm -hmm. made by Bonnie. Yep. And another exciting thing, Bonnie's having a baby. Yes. Bonnie and Tanner are expecting. The uh, end of May. So they got married last summer, and this summer they're having a baby. So Super exciting. Yes. We're so excited. Don't know what it is yet. That'll come later. But they announced it on Thanksgiving. Hopefully so it's not another can... golden retriever. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so charcuterie board. Then we had the, what, 22 pound turkey. 24. Oh, sorry. 24 pound turkey. Uh, stuffing. Ham. Ham. Mashed potatoes, sweet ham. potatoes. Chelsea made a brown sugar glaze for the ham. But someone who will remain nameless turned the cooker up too high, so it got kind of dried out. <laughs> Not me. I didn't touch mm -mm. the cooker. Mm -mm. <laughs> yes, we had stuffing, and we do it all homemade. There was even carrots from the garden in the stuffing. Mm -hmm. um. Sweet potato casserole with marshmallows on top. We don't eat that. <laughs> Mashed potatoes. She <laughs> threw it in the microwave. She's like, we don't need it. <laughs> Marshmallows are like expanding so yes, you can so. touching on the top I, of the microwave. I find those little ones. So I bought the big ones and they like blew up to double the size because I put the whole bag on top. I don't, I don't even know. I was looking at the microwave like, <laughs> is she going to do something about that? Yeah. We just let it go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she's she's like, trying to get a new microwave anyway, so it's fine. We need a new microwave. Um, uh, what else? Um, Brussels sprouts with bacon, and I sprinkled a little bit of brown sugar on them. They were decent. Parker made macaroni and cheese, spinach, oh my goodness. bacon, macaroni and like cheese. Like a bathtub size <laughs> container. It was this, but the container was this big. Um, very big. <laughs> but but it you put a layer of spinach super good. in it. Ricotta. And, yeah. So, and homemade noodles. He made homemade mm -hmm. lasagna noodles. The night before at like cheese. midnight, he was calling us, and he's like, I'm going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? I think that's it, right? Um, we had green beans. Oh, cranberries. Cran yes, homemade cranberry sauce with orange zest in them. And then I made three pies. One was a frozen pumpkin pie. So we don't need <laughs> that. Need the... <laughs> I made a... With Cool Whip. <laughs> I made a banana cream pie. That we eat. Um, Chocolate chip, that cookie thing. <laughs> yeah. So I made the... It's. I think it's called a Toll House pie. I'm not sure exactly what... But, long time ago I got the recipe off of a bag and I make it I made it a lot when the kids were little it's the best pie that you've ever eaten with a, a big old thing of whipped cream on it but they were like this is just a cookie and then you hear them when they're eating this cookie pie is really good no <laughs> this cookie pie fire 
That's what they said. All right, let's yeah. get into questions. We hope that you had a feast full as well. And we still have a ton left. Yeah, right. <laughs> I gave every, all the kids took stuff home, and then when another kid came last night and took half of the turkey, half the stuffing, because there was so much. We ate off of the Pioneer Woman dishes. I don't know if you guys have seen Mom's Pioneer Woman dishes, but if you haven't seen them, just reverse like two videos and she shows them seven times. Did they see my Pioneer Woman dishes? You can see them then. She has ornaments. The, we, it's we a, know her. We want to go on a road trip to It's a, a rolling pin, a strainer, a little spatula, I think, and a mixing bowl ornaments. They are so cute, but you can't find them anywhere. But they have them on Mercari for like... $45. Uh, she got her real tree up. Yes. She's a, don't, it's a, like a sensitive subject. I feel like the real tree is a sensitive subject every year. It's not big enough. It's not tall enough. It's not wide enough. It falls it's down. Right. It falls 15 <laughs> times. It's always a production to get it up. Uh, anyway, so, it's not as big as it normally is because we just couldn't find any bigger. We got the biggest one we could, so we moved it. And I like where it is because it's like in front of the windows, but it's like in the middle of the room. Back. It's like right here where we can see it. Uh, but anyway, we plan to do a home, home tour, tour. Yeah. shortly. Hopefully next week. Yeah, we just need to get the house cleaned up a little bit. All right, we'll get into questions. <laughs> well, we got stuff that, everywhere. No, the house is clean except for right here. Yeah, that's true. It exploded. And the the Floyd and Flurry, some of you guessed right. Some of you didn't. <laughs> Most of you didn't. Wait. 99% of you didn't. We will show that later today and then shops will get the email mm -hmm. and... Uh, Patterns start shipping on Tuesday. So yes. we will start shipping to shops on Tuesday. Once they get it, then they'll start shipping to you. Ooh, dinosaur is early. Come here. Go in the shop and buy it. Yes. Chris wanted to know, how do you get the magnets to work on finishes? I'm trying washers and magnets and they aren't holding. So you need a certain type of washer. Tell me which kind. Or your, your stuff is too heavy and it's going to fall off. I can't remember if it, you don't buy the galvanized or you buy the galvanized. The best thing to do is go oh, no. like to Home Depot, go to the magnet it's section, you. and then take the magnets it's over you. to the washers and see what sticks to it and take it home after you pay for it. Do you want to say hi to your friends? You. you need your shoes on? Come. Yeah. Okay. Can you say hi to everybody? Oh. We're still tired. He's a little crusty. He just woke up. <laughs> he didn't want his socks on. Which are shoes, but you didn't want them on. All right, Susan, can you say the remote name slowly one more time? Okay, we did that. It's in Walmart. It's a Walmart brand right. packaging. It's that red, like, Christmas packaging mm -hmm. that Walmart has. They're right by all the extension cords and everything in the Christmas section. But Amazon does have things that are similar. Other people told us in the comments. Yep. Cynthia, could you do a whip parade? Yes, I was thinking about that. We'll probably do End of me year. one week and you the next week because... Okay. By the Mine time we put the two of them together. Two hours, yeah. Well, maybe you could just do the highlights. Okay. Woyji Stuff you still really like. 552, what part of Sicily is your family from? Not sure. I don't know. The good eaten kind <laughs> place. Uh, Debbie, how many times a week do you go to Hobby Lobby, Walmart, and Michael's, and do you order from any online? So, I only go if I... Like, I need to go because I have a bunch of Kimberly's things that I have to finish, and I don't have finishing pieces. I've tried with what I have here, and I don't, so I have to go and take her stuff and find things. But, like, the Floyd and Fury, Fast and Furious. <laughs> Floyd and Flurry, when I was at Walmart, I found a piece there. So, it depends. Yep. It's not, she doesn't have, like, a set day that she goes or anything. Right. It's just but when, when she they first it. started putting stuff out, I go then and okay. get a lot of things that I can hopefully use. Nicole, what's the tablecloth you're using on the table you're at? Is it a quilt? Yes. It's a string quilt uh, that she made last year, right? Last year? This was out of the Walmart two years ago. Uh, jelly rolls right? that she got. So you can find no, that. No, it wasn't jelly rolls, was it? It was those... It was, um, they were rolled up little bundles of fabric for like 99 cents. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I think they Check have orders. jelly rolls now, but I don't think they have these same prints. But it turned out really cute. And the back is... Buffalo. Um, 
Tammy, I love Chicken Joy. Is it still available? Yes. yes. So if you go to Google and type in Chicken Joy, Priscilla's 2000, it'll pull up the blog on there. We've said it before. We can't put free PDFs on Etsy because we'd have to pay a listing fee for it. Mm -hmm. So that there'd be And then we get charged every time somebody took one and there's a lot of you taking them. So No, right. So the easiest way for us to do a freebie like that that we're offering to mm -hmm. everyone is just to put it on her blog. So And another reason why it's on my blog is because a lot of you have questions that are answered on my blog, and if you get used to going to my blog, then you can see the answers to your answers. questions. Yeah, for any finishing things she goes through, mm -hmm. what color she used, or... Yes. Um, There's a lot of information there for... Right. <clears throat> Debbie, I love all your designs. Any plans to expand to machine embroidery? I don't think so. Not at this time. We won't say never. Mm -hmm. We can't say never. Uh, just not in the works right now. No, but we've been asked to do punch needle, machine embroidery, and yeah. I don't know. We're we're working hard to do what we do. Ellen, question on the shirts. Is there any ease on the bust? So, Ellen, I hope you're not asking it's me stretchy. that because <laughs> mom's the one to ask about that. It's yes. stretchy. <laughs> really, really stretchy. So I could fit the dog in here if I wanted to. <laughs> Which dog? And the shirts are on sale at Fat Quarter Shop right now. So 20%? Yep. 20% off the shirts, the bags. There's some floss packs. Head on over. Everything on the site is 20% off. Somebody said I think everybody in this group is on there because I can't get through to order. It was very funny. Uh, Jenny, do you have a bow tutorial? Not yet. It's in the works. Well, all of our finishing projects, I do a bow and I That's show you true. how I did the bow. There's not one specific tutorial for that we do plan on doing that but if you go back and watch any of the ornament ones that we just posted or, or if you go back with from, fat quarter shop right. uh we have bows in all of those that we mm -hmm. she's done all right melissa how do you store your finishes with the rusty bells i'm worried the rust will wear off on the projects i haven't had that problem so but hers aren't touching the stitching Right. Yours are usually up in the bow area, right. so they're right. not on stitching. Right. I would just maybe, maybe store that them separately. In saran wrap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or aluminum foil or something. Cling wrap, yeah. Lisa, I was wondering about the uh, Merry Little Christmas chart. When will it be available as PDF? So this so typically we wait 30 days. We're going to do it a little bit earlier because of the stitch along that we're doing with Fat Quarter Shop, the Jolly Housewife stitch along for Christmas so you guys can get it. I know a lot of you... December 1st, isn't it? Right. A lot of you overseas, it takes a long time to get your stuff. Mm -hmm. We just got an email from somebody. We postmarked it August 15th, I think, and they just got it uh, yesterday, the thank you card that we sent. She sent us Pandora Charms from Australia, and she just got it. So I know mail is, is a little that, bit... two months? <laughs> mail is a little Three bit slower. Um, but December 1st, that one and Rudolph will be in the Etsy shop. Right. As PDFs. Rudolph and Mr. Claus. Right. All right, um, Julie, your stockings are stunning. Do you use them? Santa leaves we, us goodies in them, to, yes. We used to when the kids were littler, but now... Santa leaves us stockings, yes. Um, <laughs> Angela, <laughs> where can I get your cute shirts? Uh, FatQuarterShop.com, there is a... Okay, so below me talking, there is a little down arrow, and you click that, and you'll see, like, mom's blog, you'll see our email address, and then right below that is our wearables. So you'll see the Jolly Housewife should be the first link that you go to. So you just click the link and it takes you right to Fat Quarter Shop's website. And then we have our sweatshirts, we have our gray and black um, baseball tees, our bags, those kinds Project of things bags, are all listed our, our right there. Carry tote bags. And then under that, you'll see anybody that we have mentioned, like Etsy shops that we uh, show products from that you can go straight to the link. If I've forgotten one, you just put it in the comments and I'll run right back to do it. Also, if you want to join our Stitching with the Housewives group, yeah, answer the questions, please. Answer the questions. Two questions. One is mm -hmm. um, one dogs, of the dog's names and then the other Piper, one is Cash. Uh, Ronnie. Calvin. Calvin. Some of you put Hunter. And oh, I Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> the four-legged one they and put me in. And then Cash is the baby. Yes. So just answer the questions. It makes it a lot easier because oh. if I see that you don't have any like cross-stitch groups no, in your groups no. or, You're all done. or you don't answer the questions, then I don't let you in. And I've had to, to 
what is it? Deny? Yes. Deny a bunch of people this week. Yeah, like, if you're denied. And probably 50. You know the answer. It's just you can ask to rejoin and we can. Okay, and online. then if you don't see the questions, you can message me on my Priscilla's Facebook page, Priscilla's 2000, and message me that you want to get in the group, but you don't know the answers to the questions or you don't see the questions, and I'll let you in. Okay. We just don't want anybody getting in there and spamming people with, you know, buy these sunglasses for $2 because right. we don't allow any selling and there's a lot of people that try to get in groups to do that kind of thing. Just to sell, right. We want to see projects. We want to mm -hmm. see your beautiful work. Speaking of our Facebook group, the Selfie Saturday was another hit. Thank you so much for participating. We absolutely <laughs> love seeing all of your selfies and our mm -hmm. family loves seeing them as well because we share that. So thank you. It, it was really fun. Um, Donna, our Priscilla's Pretty Plaid's only available at Fat Quarter Shop. No, no anywhere quilt fabric is sold if they're carrying that line mm -hmm. of it's fabric. Henry Glass is the manufacturer. We have a little sneak peek, but we can't say it. So you'll have to see if you can figure it out. Okay. We're not saying anything else. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Susan, what is the name of the wax melts you use at Christmas time? I'd like to get some. Fraser okay. for Better Homes and Gardens. Yeah. Walmart. It's at Walmart. Mm-hmm. But they smell so good. So good. Mom had them on Christmas hi, music. Hi. Hey, you can't shake the table. All right, can you say hi to your friends and then go watch Mickey? Do you see your friends? He's super tired today. Um, all right, and then last but not least, Sarah, is it my imagination or does Piper seem nicer? It's an imagination. She's <laughs> not nice. She's nice. Here's the best. Here's dog. your Nana. Okay, those Besides are all Ronnie. the questions. <laughs> Those are all the questions that I have this week. Okay, so for previous finishes, this is Little House Nina Works. It's one of the hometown holidays, tree lot, I think it is. And it's finished on an old tray that I got at a thrift store. And when I made it, I attached the bow to the ruffle, so. This is like the fabric. So that's homespun fabric that she just tore. So it all comes off in one piece. She did that one twice, right? Once for an ornament and once for... No, I didn't do an ornament. But oh, you were I... going to. Your plans yeah. were to. Yeah, because I've got a bunch of the hometown holidays finished, but I don't have them finished, finished. And then the... Mom. From Just Cross Stitch Magazine. The, um... Shoot. Please. Seasons in Chalk. And that was the Christmas one. Oh. Just ripping apart my tree. And then I took a piece of it and I made an ornament with the Santa and one of the reindeers. And this is a old paint by number frame, very vintage. And then I it's plastic. Put a, a board in the back that I chalk painted and drew a little bit on it. And I usually have greenery up here, but I just haven't stuck it up there yet. But this is one reindeer and Santa Claus. And just Cross Stitch Magazine 2016, the Christmas time one. Not the ornaments, but the other one. Okay. Okay, now we have what we released on Wednesday. So, snowed in with the house size is officially over. We're sad. Uh, but first started snow delivery. Then came snow cottage. Then came snow day. And last but not least, whip it. She's ice skating, a little snow girl ice skating on a bowl. <laughs> so she's whipping it around the ice rink. <laughs> she's so cute. She's got the chubbiest little legs and she's like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Here's our Kardashian snowman. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you finish it? Priscilla's pretty plaids, the blue. Where'd you get these little snowman buttons? Are those the Hobby new ones? Lobby, yeah. No, okay. Yeah, we told them last week. Okay. Oh, no, the other one has the new buttons that mm -hmm. you, you mm -hmm. did. So many of you have started this already. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for stitching and sharing. We mm -hmm. love, absolutely love seeing it. Okay, those were snowed in with Housewives. And with that one, uh, if you didn't see it, with Whip It, you got a freebie. Uh, you got uh, Snowbirds. Mm -hmm. So We still have to stitch that. Yes. We haven't stitched it. There's yeah. an extra on there. And then on Friday, Friday's release was... First started Let It Snow. Okay, I can't remember the order. Then we had Sweater Weather. And then we had Hello, Hello Winter. Winter. And then Ice Ice Baby. Da -da 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 -da. The cute little ice skater with all of her winter friends. 
And somebody asked if that was Piper down there. No, it's like an orange dog. It's a golden retriever. It's Sam or Nala. We haven't decided. They said it was Nala, so we'll go with This Nala. is Nala. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, the bu uh, buttons at the top. So there's a pack at Hobby Lobby. It has like little kids and there was a snowman. And because they're out at my, my Hobby Lobby is empty. Like Sparks. you would not believe. And they were even putting out spring merchandise because it's so empty. It's bad. So I hope to be able to go up to the other Hobby Lobby that's like 30 minutes away and see if they have any. But those snowman buttons were out. But I got that pack and then there was a little dog. So I thought it was cute. So I did that. The, the snowflake was also from Hobby Lobby. And then I put it on a paddle from Leela May. I used our Priscilla's Pretty Plaids. You had to show that in the back of that, right? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, they can't really see the paddle, but it's just wrapped around and glued on here. So it stays. So when I was doing it, I was just going to leave this plane. And then I thought, gosh, that would look really cute with some rickrack on it. So I had already finished it and I didn't want it to have like raw edges. So I just wrapped it around the back, which nobody will see except for you guys right now. But... Normally, I would have just wrapped it around the stitching and then glued it on here. But I used two different Rick Racks. The blue wider, it's not Rick Rack, it's Lori Holt Vintage, Holt, vintage trim. trim. The wider in the blue and then the, I can't remember cloud. what the blue is called. I don't remember. And then the small cloud. But it's really cute. And then a, a flannel buffalo check bow. Vintage trim is the stuff that you guys went nuts over that the, on the wooden spools. That's super cute to mm -hmm. display as well. On your and then room. we we heard a couple of people say that I charted myself. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Priscilla's She's on got me. brown hair. <laughs> I asked mom why she didn't put me in ice skating when I was younger. She had it's, no interest. It's very expensive, Chelsea. <laughs> right. And if she had no interest, then it's like... Mm. I was like, well, dance is expensive. This is like three to four times, okay? <laughs> we just didn't have the... <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, pageant dresses. I didn't bring any this week. Somebody said they wanted to see them. I, I will. I will. Okay. And I'll also, wear it for you. on Sunday, Leela May Designs, the ones with the paddle. Yes. They... Did they have their, their sales tonight? I think their sale for project bags is tonight, and they have some of our designs stitched on the project bags. Yes. So Lila made the designs on Facebook, and they were cute. They're also doing an auction for a bag. So mm -hmm. last year they did one. They decided to do another one this year, and the money is going towards uh, Toys for Tots. Mm -hmm. Last year it went to Make-A-Wish. This year it's Toys for Tots. Yes. Um, so you can follow them on Facebook. It's Lila May Designs. I have it spelled out in the description box below. If you're interested in any of their bags, it's like a first come, first serve. So you got to be ready to say me, please, on their bags. But they the post a video. Bag, yeah, the auction, the auction bag. auction bag, you have to put like the highest amount of money you're willing to pay on it. Right. The other bags you just buy. Saturday night at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. For the regular bags. For the bags, Okay, yes. but when, when does the auction start? Ooh. I think it's at noon on Sunday. Noon to 6. Um... Show them that picture. So, uh, well, people commented on it. So here. So this. So is they the asked us to sign a piece of fabric. So they've attached that to the bag, and then it's our snow cottage, or no gingerbread cottage that they stitched and put in a bag. Right. That's the design that we had originally planned to go to Arkansas and for the retreat. Retreat. Teach people at the retreat. Um. But that. Okay. What did I say? It's auctioned off on Sunday, 1129. All, to, all proceeds will be donated to Toys for Tots in St. Francois County, Missouri, mm -hmm. in memory of uh, Kim's father. So going for a good cause there as well. Mm -hmm. Lila May Designs on Facebook. That's where we get our wooden, like this tray is from Lila May Designs as well. Mm -hmm. um, and project bags. I've shown a Toy Story one. I've shown, I think, a chicken one as well. Okay. Is there anything else you have on these notes that we need to cover? Because um, then we can show them no, Floyd. The, the new charge shipping out and then she had a Christmas list. tour. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'd forget my name if I didn't have a list right now. Okay. So Floyd is what mom calls cash. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so we will show you what Floyd and Flory is now. This one last minute well, let's show them what we showed them last week okay first, first. all right so february trucking along is one of the releases that will be done valentiney sending love letters in the mail snail mail and then hello winter 
and all of your comments about Calvin. Oh. <laughs> I told Hunter, and I kept sending like some of the comments in our Snapchat messages. And yes. Poor Hunter. Mom uses Snapchat only for that. Um, and the brother said to him, he better watch out when he's coming out of his apartment because there's going to be a bunch of women out there with bats to beat him. <laughs> <laughs> so this week mom got a snapchat that uh he was gonna drop off the cat for her because he chewed through another one of his expensive computer headsets and he's like i'm done because calvin was misbehaving <laughs> and so she got super excited she's like okay I i'm ready where's the cat i need his litter box i need his food i have the treat still i have salami we're good to go he didn't bring him over. <laughs> so Thanksgiving was a little hostile. <laughs> All right. Then last but not least. Oh, these you need. Well, we're going to give them away. Right, so right, you need them. Last okay, but not so least. this is your last chance, chance to guess. <laughs> Floyd and Flurry is a fox and a snowman. With all of his cardinal friends. Oh my gosh. Him. It's so pretty. Wait until you see it in person when you stitch it. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, I found this uh, planked piece at Walmart yes. back in the craft section. It says Hampton Art Craft Me. It's just a basic mm -hmm. board. You could really use either side of that too. Yeah, you, you could shadow a box. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So anyway, I did that. And then I did the Priscilla's Pretty Plaids right up next to it. And there's a snowflake from Hobby Lobby. I used that same snowflake on Hello Winter. It's not the same one, but it's the same, but a, it's same but different. <laughs> <laughs> I loved all their buffalo plaid things that they had, and then I did some flocked greenery and two buffalo check bows, and then these little white snowflake tag things were from the Walmart section where they had like the mini ornaments. So Floyd and Flurry, this will be the third one that's going out to the mm -hmm. shops. This and this is a sip of the season. He's got his cup. The cup says snow, and the flurry is a little snowman inside the cup. Yes. It's so cute. We love it. Mm -hmm. We originally were only going to do two designs, and then Mom's like, well, I want to do a fox. So <laughs> three designs it is. Something different. Yes. Right? All it's right. not a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone hates we, my chickens. We, we need a big ch chicken holding a cup. We know that. It's for spring. Oh. <laughs> With a little apron on. Um, all right. We already had it planned. Okay, what else we got? I get my pillow situated. Uh, this week I stitched Ice Ice Baby and I worked on charting and opening bags. And there's just been a lot. Of, we had Thanksgiving, so there's just been a lot of running around. Okay, right. and then Jolly Housewife starts soon. Do you guys have all your stuff gathered together yet? I started mine. So I'm using the journal from fat quarter shop and these would be 20 percent off too if you want to get it so what it, it does is she has them all labeled in here you have so where you can keep track of your project so it tells you your pattern name the designer start date end date when it's stitched on what stitch count stitch size so you can just like refer back to it uh the floss you're using you can do a time tracker Mom wouldn't do this, but Kimberly is really good about tracking her time to see how long it takes her to stitch a project. Um, and then any notes you have, if you took a piece of floss and you used it in another project, if you, you're being like frugal with your floss, you could do that as well and, and note it in here. Mm -hmm. And there's 50, I think, right? 50 project sheets. So. so anyway, I started Santa's Cookies. I had started this before with the red and white stripe and then I stopped because we were doing the stitch along. So I got that much done. I should be able to finish this today. Yep. And that's in her stitching with the house size bag. Yep. These are so cute. And this fits in here sideways, but I didn't. That's the one from um, dot, dot, Denise. Goose. Yep. Yeah. Dot, dot, goose. All oh, Piper's being sweet right now. Just laying on the table. I was thinking I should get her a little dog bed for here. I was thinking you shouldn't. Um, <laughs> so we got some gifts la last. This one, one of them was from last week. It was at my house though. Um, oh, this. I'm so excited. I want to get another Perry Schooler Santa done. I already put the other one on my tree. She sent us this beautiful. Here, you want to show that one? It's a chicken ornament. The cutest thing. And it's like that, that where the, the red paint is like splattered. I forget what that's called, but it's got different things. There's a deer and this on both sides. This is from Barbara and she sent us a very nice note. And these houses? Yes. 
And she sent us these two houses from Michael's. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Is yours different? Yeah. Oh. Look at the birds. So cute. Beautiful. Thank you very much. I need to wrap that. All right. Next. Oh, more that we can't show. Um, this is... Uh, what? More that we can't show. Why this can't is from show? Heather. I'll tell you. Uh, she sent us some goodies. She sent Cash some goodies. She sent us some goodies. Some tea. Is that what we can't show? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? She's, <laughs> more cars. I'll show you. Just don't buy it all. <laughs> <laughs> and then some Seattle chocolate, which these look like they're going to be amazing. So <laughs> it says, may chocolate be your umbrella. Thank you so much for the goodies. Almost as amazing as that cookie powder. <laughs> Oh it's just a cookie. This cookie is <laughs> fire. And they couldn't say it to mom. They were like talking in the family room amongst themselves. Like, mm -hmm. oh, well, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> All right. Well, you have to cut it like that. It's just a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> this was from uh, Gwen. Wait, this is from Barbara. This is, this is the wrong thing. This goes with this. That was Barbara. Okay. And then this... <laughs> Was from Gwen, a Thanksgiving day. It's cute. Cute card. Here's that. You can open that one. These are needle minders. Ooh. Oh, cute. Okay, so she, you have to read the note. She got them by accident or got an extra set or something. I had ordered these from an Etsy shop on or an Etsy shop called Glamorsaurus, and she hand makes them. She sent him a duplicate set, and she said she could just keep them. She asked if I could donate them in her name to your giveaways, and she said, sure, and thanks. So she got these as extras. Uh, so I can link that shop below, too, Glam Glamorsaurus. And she hand makes these. Look at the beat. Are these, like, covered buttons made into needle miners? I'm not sure. They I think they are. Oh, look at the little elephant. Super cute. Thank you so much. You want to use these as giveaways too? We'll give two of them away. Okay. The other two go in here so we know what we have. All right. Then I don't have on real pants today. Whoever commented, I'm surprised you're in real pants. I appreciated that for Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, I can't encourage that. <laughs> <laughs> Mom hates it. No, I do not. <laughs> she does. Peggy. You should get up and get dressed every day. I said, I do get dressed. <laughs> Peggy. I do not say that at all. This is Peggy. A very generous, very generous. She sent us some cash for giveaways. Yes, yeah, very generous. And then Lindy Stitches, uh, Stitching Tom. Look how cute. For a you giveaway. Can put that in there too. Okay. Oh, it's called Strutting Tom. I said Stitching Tom. It's hard to read. I don't know if you guys watched last week, but my mom admitted she didn't send me to a good school. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they did the best they could with you. They really did. I was actually pretty good in school, except when it came to like high school math. Then I was good. Uh, this is from Carol, our friend Carol at Creative Carol Designs. She will be linked below as well. You have seen her she project. She went, went to town with the Priscilla's Pretty Plaids. Woo! <laughs> All right, so this is a fall one with turkeys, and that has the orange and black Priscilla's Pretty Plaids. Oh, God, the chandelier's about to fall. Last year for Christmas, she sent us this ladder with Santa climbing up with the lights, and mm -hmm. my husband hooked it up last night, and my husband is, like, enthralled with it. Just over the oh moon. Oh, my gosh, it's so nice. It's just <laughs> over the moon. We'll show it in the home tour. All right, this is the Dancing Santas with the red and white Priscilla's Pretty Plaids. So cute. Amazing. And then the black and red with Priscilla's pretty plaids, another Santa. And the oh! <laughs> gorgeous. Uh, thick vinyl, zipper, and a handle mm -hmm. uh, for quilter. She also has like a double sided bag, or if you use Q snaps, she has bigger ones that hold yep. all of that. Uh, you can check out her They're Etsy. Awesome, it's though. linked below. Thank you so much, Carol. Thank you, Carol. This is Thank you again for the Santa. That goes to Carol. All right, and then we got some more bags. This. You want to hand them to me and I'll show them? Yeah. 
these have a little bag inside of them. And these are a bigger size. And this, this is, is from Gigi. She sent us uh, bags. Oh, is she, she like the lake house one? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Lake House Stitch Co. on Etsy. So handle on them. Santa, snowman, beautiful floral bags. Thick vinyl. And they're, I feel like they're padded. What? It has um, batting in it or something. Yeah. Or interfacing. Interfacing. That's what I meant. Sorry. Interfacing. And she sent Very us a pretty. card. Thank you so much, Gigi. Okay. There you go. All right. We had giveaways last week. They're in a box. This box? Yes. We had these giveaways last week. Uh, the first one was... I'm not on the right... Here we go. Snow day. So if you're new here, you enter a giveaway, you answer the question that we ask, and you submit the numbers that you're interested in, you and then we do a like, random. Like the video, be a subscriber, and then answer the question. Yes. Uh, so Snow Day was the first one, and there were three opportunities to win that. That goes to Reba Scott, Rebecca Payne, and Debbie Heiston. If and these you, are our PDFs. Yep, if you're a winner, you just email us at the email in the description box below. Tell me what you won. Tell me your name. If you if I need to send it out physically, you need to include your physical address. All right, next up was Hello Winter. This is also a PDF that goes to Stephanie Kiefer, Beth Woods, and Mimi R. All right, next up was a little bundle together. You got a cross-stitch journal from Fat Quarter Shop, Kimberly and her team, and then you got a Jolly July uh, sewing notion. I like can't talk. Uh, from LaDonna at Sampling of Memories. If you hear any like jingling, anytime I move this table, okay, first of all, we put two leaves in the table for Thanksgiving. And this, then this table, the leaves store inside of it. Yes, and then you can just pop them out and put them in. So it was like all the way down into the living room. <laughs> right, but then when the boys put it back together, it, it was didn't go still all the way down in the living room. <laughs> it didn't go where it should, so the the carpet indents Ooh, are off. Down, yeah. Right, are off. So the table's kind of rocky right now, and there's a stack of the Pioneer Woman plates. I don't know if you saw Mom's Pioneer Woman plates, but <laughs> the Pioneer Woman plates. I hand washed them on Thanksgiving because she didn't want to put them in the dishwasher. Uh, these are her Pioneer you Woman plates. You must not have done too good of a job because the dog's trying to look up. <laughs> This one went through the dishwasher, so that was you. She like made a huge fuss about it, and then I emptied the dishwasher, and there was one lone Pioneer Woman How do you know that I did it. <laughs> I All right, back on track. Uh, number three was the this. There were five, four winners: Judy Davis, Ellen McLeese, Kathy Martin, and Diane Parker. Congratulations. Next up from a viewer was Wait, the, did you do the one that, like, we have an uh, ornament and then we have a cup? Did you do the cup? Yeah. You Where did? were you? Where yeah. was Hello, it? Winter. Oh. Oh, my God. These <laughs> Thank you for paying attention. We're new here. <laughs> Episode 175. I was taking her 17. Uh, this was from a viewer, the 2020 Just Cross Stitch Ornament Edition. This goes to Con Cook. Next up was Patchwork Deer. This was from our very generous viewer who sent a boatload of stash for us to give away. This goes to Deanna Sola. Firehouse, uh, Little House Needleworks goes to Gail Lotus. All right, next up is the sew along for Lori Holt. It is called Sew by Row. This was done by It's So Emma. It's a Lori Holt. And the first one's got a fancy floss bundle, that, five of these. So this goes to T. Lemur, Hopping Frog Abbeys, Lonnie Giovanetti, Brenda Sheldon, and Linda Fredrici. Fredrici? Linda. That's our friend. Um, and then number eight. I labeled them. Number eight is also five copies of the sew by roll and you get the dmc all the dmc you need to finish and this, this. is a stitch along with fat quarter shop i think it starts after the first of the year that goes to kathy dennison diana saunders d norton carol s and jody odorico and remember when i'm saying these names that's your youtube name so that's something that's kind of important to know 
So your name might be Carol S as well, but if it's not your YouTube name, I didn't win, I'm sorry. Enter again <laughs> next week. Um, all right, and then we had three winners for our Facebook contest. Those were randomly picked as well. You get a $20 gift card to our shop. You just tell us what you want, that's $20, and I'll mail it to you, send it to you. Okay, we're not like, I don't know how to do gift cards, so just tell me what you want and I'll send it to you. <laughs> all right, that's something to learn in 2021. The winners are Katie Hughes, Linda Richter, and Judy Cartwright. And if you don't want anything right now, just tell me that you won and say, I'm going to pick it in a couple weeks or something like that. Mm -hmm. it, like if you're waiting for certain charts. Right. I'm super, super easy to work with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that's what I have for giveaways this week. Okay. So first of all, for this week's giveaways, what is the question that they're going to answer? I think we're going to show our three new things and they can pick their favorite. Okay. Or do you want to ask them a question? No, we're, that they we need to do a about? shop shout out. Shop shout out today? Yeah, okay. Because we're shipping right. to yep. shops. Let's do that then. We do this every time we ship to shops. We want to know where you're spending your stitchy money. So just <laughs> put in the comments where you like to spend your stitching money. And if it's a brick and mortar shop, make sure you name the city and state so that other people can see that. Y yes. It's always fun to look through the comments. What was that? It wasn't a needle. That's what I was worried about. All right. I put um, branches from our tree down in the center of the table and there's like twigs on the table so flocking snow and twigs all right but it looks pretty the first giveaway you're gonna have three copies to win whip it mm -hmm. number two is going to be three opportunities to win ice ice baby we had two songs this week -na 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 -na. Number three is going to be uh, three opportunities to win a Merry Little Christmas. I have like, I need to cough or something. A Merry Little Christmas. And you're also going to win from Fat Quarter Shop. You're going to win these uh, Lori Holt library card label packs. With Christmas coming up and you're making Christmas gifts, you can slap this on the back of a finish so they know when you made it. Or just for you as well. I just wanted to put that in there. So a Merry Little Christmas, the uh, printed version plus a um, library mm -hmm. pack. All right, that was number three. Number four is three opportunities to win Rudolph and Mr. Claus, part of the Sip of the Seasons series. Number five is three opportunities to win Trucking Along February, printed. Right the press. Number six, three opportunities to win Hello Winter. Number seven from a generous viewer is going to be Strutting Tom by Lindy Stitches. Number eight from Fat Quarter Shop, two opportunities to win the natural 18 inch by 27 inch 28 count linen. Let's do, they get a needle minder. And the fabric. Okay. Yeah. So you get this, a little bundle. All right, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This was eight. Number nine are ten opportunities to win. I know if it's number nine. <laughs> <laughs> number nine is a uh, Prim Stitch series, Beauty and Simplicity. This is number five in her Prim Stitch series. Ten opportunities by Lori Holt. Mm hmm. Super easy to read charts, color, uh, like thick card stock, like think old school prairie schooler days. Mm -hmm. Those were the days. Okay, that's what I have for that. Are okay. you doing a number 10? Number 10, because we're thankful for you. Five opportunities to win. Um, <laughs> five? <laughs> a chart you want from our Etsy shop. Mm. Okay, number 10, just to round it out. Okay. Those are easy. I can just mm -hmm. send them off from my phone. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we need you to get your stuff together, get ready for the Jolly Housewife Stitch Along. Mm -hmm. I'm starting Monday, but I'm going to start gathering my stuff now. Uh, what are we doing this week? We're going to pack charts today. Mm -hmm. Like, it's nobody's business. Yep, and then Tuesday we'll be mailing them out, and then hopefully we'll have a home <laughs> tour this week. Yes, overcast day, yep. fingers crossed. Yeah, looking for the weather. Fingers crossed for that. Everything else is ready to go. I think that's it, right? Yep. So like the video, be a subscriber, and then answer where you like to spend your stitchy money. Just name your shops that you spend your money at. And then, like I said, if it's a, 
a brick and mortar name the city and state so other people can see that. Just like we're big on supporting because maybe designers. They don't know. Yeah, and buying mm -hmm. the charts, we want to support right. our stitching shops. That's why we have this hobby. So we need to make sure that we're supporting them. Right. And then I also saw something about that in our stitching group about what do you do with your old charts? Don't give them away unless they're like old and out of print. Let people buy a chart because that supports your designers. Just keep them get rid of them, do whatever you want with them, except for letting, I don't know, it's it's hard to explain. I've been like this for years, even before we started a business, that we need to support our designers because I feel like people like Prairie School are left because of, you know, everybody just hands everybody else the chart and they don't buy it and then they put stuff on Pinterest and it's yeah. hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Support your designers. That's the cheapest part of your project, believe it or not. She's off her soapbox now. <laughs> Didn't she have a soapbox last week too? <laughs> sticky board. <laughs> Amen, sister, somebody said. <laughs> sticky, sticky, sticky board. Right. What, what, what's worse? To have your stuff stuck under the bed where nobody sees it because you can't afford to get it all framed? Or just to put it on sticky board and hope that it lasts for 30 or 50 years? You there could, you go. You could answer that question <laughs> in the comments as well. Um, also, if you saw the sneak peek today... You can let yeah, us know if you saw that. that. We can't mm -hmm. we can't tell you, mm -hmm. but we're super excited about it. But hopefully next week we'll be able to tell you. Yes. We have to like clear. We'll, we'll probably be in trouble for that part. <laughs> oh well, okay. we spend our lives in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. I can't wait to show you our home decorated for Christmas. I think it's the best. It's Did ever we say been. the village got finished? The village got finished. Oh yeah. David finished putting together the village. It was a project this year. They added some things to it. Oh the ice skate rink. Oh my gosh, the ice skate rink. Okay, broke. ice skate rink broke. Broke. Mom went on eBay, thought that she found like an amazing deal. She bid with the guy. No, it wasn't. I didn't <laughs> bid. It said make an offer, so I made an offer. He wanted $110 for an ice rink, and I bid 80 He wouldn't take it. I bid 90 He wouldn't take it, or I offered, whatever. So finally, he took $100. Well, then the box shows up, and it's from Menards. <laughs> <laughs> like this year's So edition. I Google it. $70 at Menards. So he made $30 to order me an ice rink and ship it to me. <laughs> from Menards website. Like he didn't have it. He sent it from Menards. He's going to mm -hmm. make a, a business. He's yep, supporting his family. Great. So Whatever. it's okay. I didn't have time to go running around to find one. I didn't even think of Menards. She has a working ice rink now. What was funny was after she ordered it, it started working again. So mm -hmm. no, but then it stopped again. It would like start. It was like, it was, it was from a thrift store. It was like haunted. Yes. It My first one was a department 56 and then that one broke and Chelsea put that in her village, not working. Yeah. Then we found one in a thrift store and that one from the thrift store is on eBay for a hundred dollars. It lasted a couple years. Yep. And I paid $20 for that one. And then this one was a hundred dollars. But I think that the first one was $100 too. So ice rinks are expensive. But she has a huge village and a lot of her houses have been found at thrift stores. Mm -hmm. You know, like maybe a quarter or more of her no, houses. More. At, more? at one time it was half. We, we doubled the size of it by that one haul that we got. Yeah, it was like huge. Mm -hmm. Filled the it was car like with in houses. July. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and people were clearing out their house and they got rid of all of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we've talked enough. You've yeah. listened to enough of our stories. Anyway, so just tell us where you like to spend your stitchy money. Follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea356, Priscilla's2000 on Facebook, and Priscilla's2000 at blogspot.com, where you can see more of everything that we do. And I know a lot of you saw the video that I posted on Instagram, just a little sneak peek of the kitchen and the living room. I after. saw it snow on there. How'd you do that? That yeah. was nice. How do we do that on our video? I don't know. Mom's the editor now. She can do special effects. <laughs> can you just like white my teeth and just shorten up my hair a little mm -hmm. bit all right make us skinnier <laughs> <laughs> cash you want to say hi to your friends real okay, quick make me and piper skinnier <laughs> come here and say hi make me piper and ronnie skinnier look at, look at somebody brought you something look at they got he's getting cards. teeth and he is pretty crusty molars his back molars look at what they sent you <gasps> Wow, can you say thank you? Is that awesome? Okay, say hi to your friends. Hey. Don't say food in them. Say hi to your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Casual. Hey. So we hope that you're joining us for our Jolly Housewife Stitch Along. And Kimberly is like going to town. She's gonna have so many Christmas projects finished. <laughs> like a ton. She's so yeah. Stitching like crazy. Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys. So we're very excited for it, and we hope that you're joining us. It starts basically December first, but start whenever you want. PC. No. What's the hashtag? Hashtag Jolly Housewives sale. I think so. I'm I'm not 100 percent certain. I saw that posted, but it might be FQS Jolly Housewives. Okay. We'll have to let you know about that. Okay. We'll put it in the description box below. I'll look at it after this video. Yeah. All right, guys. We will see you uh, midweek yeah. next week with a home tour, hopefully. Yes. All right. Bye. bye. Can I say bye? Bye. Bye. Blow them a kiss. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>